Hi everyone, last but not least is Gemini. What is around my Geminis for the month of March? This is your March 2022 horoscopes coming from Tracy Brown. How are you Geminis? How's every, everything doing? What is around my Geminis for the month of March? Please, God, talk to me. Talk to me about Geminis. Please allow me to see anything and everything that you would like for me to see. Geminis are your children. They're your loves. They're your love beloveds, Father God. Please authorize me to see and say what you would like for me to say and see. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 All, all right. There's some work influence. And I say influence because there's also a relationship slash marriage influence. So what's going on? The card after that is the Seven of Swords. So there's something on the table that's work-related. It could be a marriage of sorts, right? Something's on the table that's work-related that could be a marriage of sorts, but something about this marriage doesn't resonate well. There's a fire sign woman in this picture. I think it's work-related, right? That, I don't know if you can trust this person right so what's going on Gemini it definitely feels like it's definitely work related right and it feels like somebody is saying to you come with me because I feel like there's a marriage of sorts it does feel like it's a woman it does feel like it's a fire sign woman, but she's also in the past. So if she's in the past, is she leaving your job, right? Is this someone that's like going on to greener pastures, but then turns around to you and says, come work with me. Come, come do this with me, right? The problem that I have is that in the opposite direction, so this is number three and this is number five, right? Two very sneaky cards here, right? Some weird hidden agenda is going on there. And I'm not sure the money is all that great. So it almost feels like Okay, like it almost feels like, let's say it's 3,000 more. I'm, that's a low number, but I'm just gonna say it, right? But when you divide it up to hours, right? 2,080 hours, right? It comes out to a dollar 44 cents more than what you're making. So be careful of a transition, Gemini, that looks amazing, really does. But are you working harder for a dollar 44 cents more? Now, let's be fair. Let's say maybe that was too low. Let's say it's $6,000 more, right? Divide it into hours, it's $2.88 more is it worth it still right um because i just think you should be at a space in your life where you're making what especially because you're a gemini right so you should be making 
more than what this person is presumably telling you. You know, in your 30s, let's, you know, it should be 30 something an hour. But I'm, I'm even getting hired in 30 something. I'm just, I just think that this person is playing you and playing you well. Um, I don't think the person means it though. I think the person might even be honest. I think the person is going to be like, look, you know, let's do this. It's not going to be, you know, financially available to you right now, but it could be or it will be. Here's the problem that I have. Right? And the page of swords is the one that tells me, yeah, not enough going on here for you to, this be valuable to you, I think. I also get some other people here. So I get the King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries. I get Taurus Virgo Capricorn or King of Pentacles. And my hopes and fears, I get the Four of Swords. I think this is going to be a lot of regret. And the Four of Swords is parallel, right? It ends in be strong. So here's what's going to happen. It could come down to, I don't want to say being tricked, but it could come down to a belief system that someone led you to believe something. And... In all your investigation, it, it really does look good. And you're looking for change anyway, and um, you went for it. <clears throat> I would say, don't. <laughs> mm -mm, don't. Don't jump at an offer. Maybe I should say it this way. Don't jump at an offer in the middle of a war. Maybe that's what I should be telling you, Gemini. Not in the middle of a war, unless the war benefits the company that you're working for. I don't think this is that situation. But I do believe that someone is like whooping it up, leading people to believe that this is the best choice and you should come with them. The problem that I'm having is that you're very strong, Gemini, so ultimately you're going to ride the waves. I just don't think you should jump ship to ride the waves to find out that you got screwed financially and you're working way too hard. Um, I think these people here are gonna come on board to convince you as well that this is something you need to do. Don't. This is not something that needs to happen unless you are not working at all. You're not working, go ahead and figure out what this is. If you're working, oh hell no. But I do believe people are going to try and convince you. And I think the part that I'm getting, because I think people are going to try to convince you. And I think all these people are going to try and convince you. The problem that I'm having, this is the convince card. This is not giving you enough time to think and to process. And it's a self-sabotaging move. So... Straight and narrow, straight and narrow, straight and narrow. Don't do anything um, thinking that it's better because I just think that what's on the other side is a joke. All right? This and this tells me that. I just want to remind you that the war has begun. It's begun. 
So changes has also begun. And making the right move in the middle of the war is going to be a misstep. That's what I think. And I'm going to stick to that. The only other thing that this could also mean, Gemini, is if you're considering relocating. It's a misstep. Don't do it, please. You don't know what's on the other side of that river and where you are is actually the safest place right now. Sticking to it. Mending. Mending. Let's see what this says. Number 52, which is also a number seven. 52. Mending. Forgiveness, making amends, healing after argument. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keep us chained to the very things we need to heal, the pain, the memories, the echoes of resentment, the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is the time for many rips, healing wounds, and letting go of the old hurts in order to reclaim your power. Now is the time to forgive, to release, to make peace, and to make amends to others. Set yourself free. All right, guys. If anybody wants to elaborate on anything that I said, text me or DM me, 213-458-7408. If you'd like to invest in my candles, this one is Quick Responses, Quick Money. This is Power and Success. This is Physical Health and Psychic Health. Contact me at Tracy Brown. It's a set, by the way. Contact me at Tracy Brown Live at Gmail for the candles. Thank you, guys. Take it easy. Bye.